Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics Plus. Here are the top 10 free VLSI courses available for any VLSI enthusiast who want to start learning VLSI concepts. Let's get in. The courses which I am introducing you here are comes under free online education which is providing by IITs and NITs and other premier institutes through Swayam platform. The very first course is Hardware Modeling using Verilog. This gives you the complete structure of Verilog, how the coding will be, how the digital design is going to be made using Verilog. This course will start from 21st July 2025. You have a time to enroll to this course till 28th July 2025. This is a 8 week course. You will get certified after taking an exam after this 8 weeks of lecturing. You can see below there is a course layout. There are 8 weeks and it is structured in this way. Starting from the digital circuit design flow, then Verilog operators, variables and language constructs, then design of combinational circuits, sequential circuits and also Verilog test benches and how the simulation will be, then behavioral versus structural modeling, miscellaneous modeling, issues, pipelining and memory and the advantage of this course is that you will be getting the project at the end that is in week 8. They will be explaining how the processor design will be using Verilog. You can put this project in your resume. You will be getting complete Verilog code over here. This course is very much useful for anyone looking for a VLSI job. Then comes digital electronics. If you want to start your learning from the scratch, then you need to start from digital electronics first. So you can take this course. This is a four week course. It will complete in first four weeks. It starts from the number system, Boolean algebra, logic gates, Boolean expressions, simplification of those expressions. Then comes the design of combinational circuits and then sequential circuit and memory devices. If you take these two courses, digital electronics as well as hardware modeling using Verilog, your preparation for RTL designer role starts there. Then also one more course is there on system design through Verilog. This course also Verilog. This is also a eight week course. You can take this course as well with the digital electronics to gain knowledge on Verilog. If you see the course content, this also start with Verilog and gate level modeling, behavioral modeling 1, behavioral modeling 2, data flow modeling, switch level modeling and also you will be able to learn synthesis of combinational circuits and also synthesis of sequential logic using Verilog. So these three courses help you to get a job in design role means that is RTL design role or async design role or in FPGA design roles. Then I have a course for you that is RTL to GDS. This gives you the complete structure of VLSI design flow, how it works even in industry. So starting from writing a RTL code, then to the GDS file generated, what are all the steps it go through, all those concepts will be covered in this course. You can see here from week one, it will start from very basics of transistors and the fabrication types and pre-RTL methodologies, SOC design, what is IP, what is assembly, behavioral synthesis. Here you will get all the complete knowledge of the basics required for VLSI industry. Then comes week 2. Here VLSI design flow, RTL to GDS implementation, what is synthesis, what is physical design, verification and testing and post GDS process will be explained here. Then hardware modeling in week 3. RTL synthesis in week 4, logic optimization, then comes the next process of formal verification, then STA, static timing analysis is very important, then constraints, IO blocks which we will be writing, then power analysis and design for testability that is DFT and then chip planning and clock tree synthesis. If you see this course structure, you will be learning from very scratch and it will go till the clock tree synthesis and also the sign off. So this give you the complete structure of VLSI flow, how the things will be starting from RTL design to the layout and to the GDS. This is a 12 week course. This gives more depth knowledge in the design, how actually the VLSI flow works. This also starts from 21st July and the enrollment ends by 28th July. And the next course is if you are a computer science engineer, or if you want to go as a firmware developer in VLSI design, C based VLSI design helps you. This is a 12 week course again. Here you will be learning starting from the EDA tools and C based VLSI design 
and the C based VLSI design HLS flow and also the things related to VLSI which can be related to uh, C programming and how the coding will help in VLSI design will be taught in this course. This is C based VLSI design is the fifth course I am suggesting you. Then if you are an analog VLSI design enthusiast, if you don't want digital design, then you can take analog VLSI design. Here you will be learning the circuit related concept starting from the MOSFETs. What is non-linear elements, generation of small incremental linear equivalent from the non-linear elements and then amplify designs using MOSFET and these things are related to the analog signals what we provide to the circuits uh, with respect to MOSFET and how actually that behavior is and how the amplification will be done. All this required for an analog design engineer in VLSI industry. Analog circuit design engineer is another domain in VLSI. We can get into that by taking this course. Then comes VLSI interconnects. This VLSI interconnects is also a course related to VLSI where you will be learning how the interconnects will be done in circuit level. If you are again an analog circuit engineer uh, enthusiast, then you can take this course. It will help you to understand how the RC model, RC interconnects are there, RLC interconnect models will help and all the things related to that. Then comes computer architecture and organization. This computer architecture and organization is a course which covers and the design and the processor basics, all the threads pipelining things, how actually it will work in a processor. So this is much important course which will be required for any VLSI engineer so that he can understand the things in a system level uh, correctly. So evolution of computer system, then comes uh, how actually the architecture is, then ALU, then input output system design and also pipelining in the instruction set and parallel processing architectures. This will help you to gain the knowledge in a system level. Then comes micro electronics devices, that is devices to circuits by Subed Das Gupta. This course will start from BJT, then it touch up MOSFETs, then SPICE model, CMOS inverter basics, power analysis, SPICE simulation, and then biasing of MOSFETs and JFET structures, then multi-stage differential amplifiers, then S-domain transfer functions and the analysis with respect to that, and then general feedback structures how we use in MOSFET amplifiers, then operational op-amp op designs in MOSFET, and then Butterworth filters and all the different filters uh, which are there and then also combination logic design and sequential logic designs with respect to circuit design is concerned then comes lock strategies for sequential design and concepts of memory and its designing so this course also helps a analog design engineer so microelectronics device to circuits can be taken with analog vlsi design then the last course which can be taken is semiconductor devices and circuits here also you will be learning uh, the basic uh, structure of a semiconductor is and also the quantum mechanics, solid state physics and then uh, the things related to that. So this is related to more of physics and how the MOSFET works and how actually the internal structure of the MOSFET and behavior of that. So this course also helps the analog design engineer who will work on the circuits and layouts. These are the 10 courses you can take up. Uh, with respect to your domain of interest, these digital courses helps to get into FPGA design or ASIC design or even verification design. But analog design engineers can take these courses, microelectronics and analog VLSI design, that will be helpful to get into circuit domain as well as the layout domain or the physical engineer domain in VLSI. This is all about the 10 VLSI courses which are available completely free. If you want certification, then you can pay that certification exam fee, then you can take exam and you can get certified. Thank you.